It was a game that saw an unpredictable ebb and flow of momentum as England trumped Australia by a mere 14 runs. For cricket lovers, this was a contest they waited for as test cricket came alive. Did someone say test cricket is dead? As discussed earlier, if test cricket is dead, the purists wouldn't mind living in the graveyard. If one looks back at the game, one would say that Australia have exceeded all expectations and that is a good sign for these ashes. Right from Ashton Egar's incredible innings to the last wicket stand in the final innings, the Aussies showed the typical fight and spirit. So one can say that it isn't going to be as easy for England as people thought it would be at the start of the series. They would have to work harder to beat Australia as this performance at Trent Bridge would certainly give them confidence going into the second test. For Australia, there are a lot of positives that emerge from this test. Peter Siddle hit the right areas and showed why he's the leader of this attack. Mitchell Stark and James Pattinson are able supporters for him. Then what can you say about Ashton Egar? He has simply won hearts with his batting and was decent with his left arm spin. Brad Haddon's comeback is also a heartening development as he fought hard in the second innings with the bat. On the other hand, England have two main big positives, Ian Bell and James Anderson. Bell produced this innings of character and made the difference perhaps. Anderson also has this knack of producing these spells when it is required the most and take that away and there isn't much to say about England's bowling in this test match. The others also chipped in but England would introspect and would want to put in a more convincing performance when the two teams face off the next time. Yes, they can celebrate their jailbreak but what this test has shown is that they can ill afford to take Australia easy.